All right, we're going to take a look at a new integral here. We've got the integral of 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 with respect to x. We want to integrate this. Um, what we want to take a look at here is I want to complete the square on um, this quadratic here. Let's go ahead and do that. So in this situation here, we have x squared plus x plus 1. Again, I'm going to complete the square on this. I'll grab my b value divided by 2 and square it. So I'm going to add a quarter, subtract a quarter, and then add 1. And uh, now I've forced a perfect square here. This is going to factor into x plus 1 half squared uh, plus 3 quarters. So now I can go ahead and replace the uh, x squared plus x plus 1 writing it in this form here, plus 3 quarters with respect to x. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing that is because the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 with respect to u, I know that's equal to tan inverse of u. So I sort of have this form here now that I've completed the square. I sort of have that here. I'm going to start off with a substitution. I'm going to let... Uh, u equal x plus 1 half, in which case here du is going to equal dx. And if I do that, I end up transforming my integral to the following. This will be the integral of 1 over u squared plus 3 quarters, which is still not what we want, and the dx becomes a du in this case. Okay, so now I want to end up getting here. I want this to be a 1, so I'm going to factor a 3 quarters out of the denominator here, giving us the following. Now watch the algebra on this. By taking that 3 fourths out, I'm going to have to incorporate a 3 quarters here to make that, when you distribute that, to get that 1 that you want. Okay, now that I've factored out the 3 quarters in the denominator, I'm going to rewrite this with the 4 thirds out front like this. This becomes the integral of du over, um, I'll rewrite this, this will be 2 over the square root of 3u, all quantity squared plus 1. And you can see here, I now almost have this in the form that I'm looking for. This is 1 over, this is my u squared plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and just do another substitution just to make this a little more clear. I'm going to let t this time be equal to 2u over the root of 3, in which case dt is going to equal t over the root of 3 du which will imply that du is root 3 over 2 dt. So now I'm going to go back to my integral that I was working on here, and this is going to equal the 4 thirds from before, my integral symbol. Get rid of that du and replace it with a root 3 over 2 dt, divided by, now this becomes t squared plus 1. So now we can finally apply our derivative here. I'm going to pop all this out here. So this is going to end up becoming, um, we'll clean this up later, but this will be 4 root 3 over 6, the integral of dt over t squared plus 1. And as we just discussed here, this will be 4 root 3 over 6 times the tan inverse of t um, plus some constant k. I can now simplify this a bit, so this will end up being 2 root 3 over 3 tan inverse, get rid of that t and change it to a 2u over root 3 plus k, and then one more substitution here, doing substitution twice, I know that u is actually, this will be 2 root 3, I know that u is actually x plus 1 plus k. And now I have my integral of 1 over x squared plus x plus 1, which is in fact equal to 2 root 3 over 3, tan inverse of 2 over root 3 times x plus 1, uh, plus some constant k. Thank you.